looks like they were randomly chosen uh, by the suspect. Uh, it looks like there's no link between them and the suspect. A 24-hour spree of fatal shootings in Montreal ended with police shooting the murder suspect dead at this motel parking lot in St. Laurent Thursday morning. The 26-year-old man is believed to be the suspect in three deadly shootings in the city on Tuesday and Wednesday. He was not known to police as related with organized crime. Um, Montreal police answered a few calls for a mental health uh, related to this guy. So uh, we don't know for now, is it because of her mental illness? Is it because of another motivation? It's under investigation now. Montreal Police's tactical unit arrived at the motel around 7 a.m. Thursday for a search. Officers were confronted by the suspect with a firearm. Shots were fired and he was struck by at least one bullet and pronounced dead at the scene. His identity is confirmed as Abdullah Shaikh. According to court documents obtained by La Presse, the man was charged with assault with a weapon, sexual assault, assault and threats in 2016. He was also awaiting trial scheduled for for January 2023. Officers don't believe he had any accomplices in the alleged murders in Montreal and Laval that took place in close proximity. The victims, André Lemieux, the 64-year-old father of professional boxer David Lemieux. He was fatally shot around 9.45 p.m. Tuesday near the intersection of Jules Poitras and De Geer Boulevards in Saint Laurent. At 10.50 p.m. that same evening, 48-year-old Mohamed Salah Belhaj was shot and killed near the corner of the intersection of Sauvé West and Mayor Streets in Ahuntsic. The third victim of the serial murders, 22-year-old Alex Lévy Crevier. He was shot dead while skateboarding at 9.30 p.m. Wednesday on Boulevard Clermont in Laval. Some residents nearby the motel Thursday live not far from one of the shooting locations of Tuesday. It really affected us because we live right in front of that uh, bus shed. And we usually go out on walks. Uh, my family and I have three small kids. There's a park nearby. After that evening, we do not feel safe. In all three cases, the victims were shot at close range and the murders were committed on public roads. Provincial police are now in charge of the investigation of the three murders, while Quebec's police watchdog, the BEI, has taken over the investigation of the suspect's killing as the shooting involves police officers. I'm worried about with life. Just when you walk in the street, just you get shot easy like this is is not fair. Montreal police met with reporters Thursday. Such events cannot be tolerated. Indeed, Montrealers should feel safe to walk in each neighborhood at all time in all places. Therefore, all SPVM units are working together to fight against violence. Montreal Mayor Valérie Plante tweeting Thursday morning, thanking the police services, saying the last 48 hours have been trying for everyone. It is during these moments that we must all work together and trust our authorities in a common goal of ensuring the safety of our population. I hope that the city and the uh, the government are doing everything they can to minimize this this gun violence that is new in the city. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.